Hello again. To finish off week three, day three, we're going to do a flow that I learned a few years back at my yoga teacher training. We're going to do the same flow over and over so that you can get into the swing of things and you'll know which pose is coming next. So take your time. Don't worry if it takes a few practice rounds to get the poses right. We're going to start at the front of our mat with our toes touching and our heels slightly apart. Standing up nice and tall. You can breathe for a second. Shake it out if you need to. Just have fun with it. Think about it like a dance. Try and make every flow and movement graceful. We're going to inhale, bring our arms up, looking up, stretching out nice and long. Hands come together in prayer and they're going to slide down your center just to your heart, opening your chest. And we will begin by lifting our right leg up to a 90 degree angle. Finding our balance here, try not to lean back, standing up nice and tall. We're going to sweep our arms down and back and step that right foot back a little bit and fold over that front leg. The toes can come up. Pretend you're holding a nice big ball of energy with your hands so your arms stay active. We're going to transition into warrior two, so we're shifting our weight forward. You can come just into airplane with your arms back. Or you can bring your arms to your heart center there and reach forward with the top of your head pointing your back toes down and coming straight into your version of warrior three, finding your balance. For a little transition here, a light bend in your left leg and we're going to step our foot right back, landing in a warrior two foundation. Arms coming up, straightening both legs making space and then sinking your hips down and reaching your arms out for warrior two. You can shift your feet if you need to clarify your foundation. Arms are out nice and long. Try and keep your knees stacked above your ankle and look forward over your left hand. Flipping that front palm, let's lift up and over to reverse your warrior. Stretching your side body. Don't put too much weight in that back arm. And we're going to come forward into side angle, which is your elbow on top of your thigh. And your right arm comes up and over, reaching forward. Long line of energy from your fingertips to the outside edge of that back leg. And sink your hips low. Shoulders away from the ears. We're going to come back through warrior two, lifting our torso up. And then we're windmilling our hands down to frame the foot. And coming up onto those back toes, so we're in a runner's lunge. Find your balance here. Squeeze your legs in tight towards each other. And then use your muscles to bring yourself right up into a high lunge. Arms up. Might feel a little bit shake in this front leg. All right. And then working on our balance, we're going to try and step straight into chair. Pushing off that back foot. Try and keep your legs bent. And then sit right away into your chair, just for a moment, chest is up. If you look down, you can see your toes, weights in the back. And then push up, arms come down, and shake it out. All right, that's the first side. You can reset at the front of your mat. I'm going to meet in mountain pose, and we're going to take it to the other side. Arms are sweeping up, coming together in prayer and sliding down your center. We're going to lift our left leg up this time. Try not to lean back. Breathe. And then we're going to sweep our hands and bow, stepping that back foot back about a foot and folding over that front leg. Try not to hyperextend behind your knee here. Just feel a nice stretch in your hamstring. And then we're going to come forward into airplane or warrior three. Find your balance and then extending out nice and long your version. Try and keep the hips square. Ooh. It's okay if you fall. <laughs> Slight bend in that front knee and we're going to step right back into our warrior two foundation, keeping legs straight, arms up, 
little star. And then we're sinking into our warrior two. Adjust your feet if you need to. Arms are out nice and strong. We're gonna flip that front palm and reverse our warrior, just like we did on the other side. Coming forward into your side angle, that right elbow on top of the right leg, left arm comes up. Your chest is opening up towards the ceiling. Coming through your warrior two. We're gonna windmill our hands down into our lunge, pivoting on that back foot. Readjust if you need to get your balance. Engage your legs, engage your core, and come right up into your high lunge. And here comes the tricky part, stepping right into chair. We're gonna push off that back foot and try and come up with control, sitting right into your chair. Shoulders away from the ears, not a huge arch in the back. Your stomach's engaged, and then we push up and shake it out. Nice, we'll try that once more each side and we'll flow through it a little quicker so you're not holding it on your legs so long. Arms come up. You slide down to your heart as the right leg comes up. Just for a short little balance, we're gonna step the foot back and fold forward. Shifting into warrior three, we bring our weight forward and then explode out from our center, nice and strong. And then stepping into our wide-legged stance, looking towards the side, and then we're sinking into our warrior two. Flipping your front palm, we're gonna lift up and lift back to reverse our warrior. And coming forward into your side angle, reaching with those up fingertips and then we're going to come through warrior two just to transition into our lunge coming up on those back toes coming up to a high lunge <laughs> and then step straight into your chair pose sitting your bum down legs are tight towards each other the arches in your feet are lifted and then you bring yourself up and shake it out Finish the last one on the other side. Reset in your mountain pose, feel nice and steady. And let's lift our arms up. Bring them together, slide them down your center. Left leg lifts this time. Find your balance and then sweep your hands down, setting the foot back. Right toes pop up as you lean forward. Don't forget to breathe. Gonna come into our warrior three, reaching everything out or airplane, wherever you're at today. Slight bend in that front leg. We're gonna step it right into our star. Everything's extended. And then we're shooting our arms out and sinking into our warrior two. Flipping the front palm, we're gonna lift up and back to reverse. And let's flow right through to the side angle. Left arm is coming up over top. Shoulders away from the ears. Not too much weight in this front arm. You can stick it out just to test it. Come back through your warrior two. Frame your feet at the front of your mat. Find your balance in your runner's lunge and so we can come up into a high lunge, engaging your legs. And then we're gonna step right into our chair, pushing off that back foot. Last little pose. See if you can sink low. Don't let your knees go past your toes. Chest is open. And push up, arms come down, and shake it out. Give yourself a little break here, grab some water, and then we're going to move on to our workout. Today we're going to start off our exercises with lunges. If you have a lot of room, you can do walking lunges for the 45 seconds. If you're just going to use your mat, we're going to do pulsing lunges. And keep an eye on the time, and we're going to switch sides whenever we get halfway through. So let's start with stepping our right leg right back, finding a nice comfortable lunge, and then we're gonna work on pulsing. So you're gonna drop your knee down, keep your core engaged, and lift up. Drop your knee down, keep your knee above your ankle. That's important to watch out for. All right, so we can start in three, two, one.
and switch sides. Coming down to our side, we're going to work on our side planks. So first version, you can have the knee closest um, to the side you're on <laughs> can be on the ground for a little extra support. Or if you want to try adding a little extra, you can stack your feet. Make sure you're not putting all the weight into your wrist. And lift your hips up and try and be strong. So we'll start that. We'll do 25 seconds one side, and then I'll let you know when to change sides. Let's go in three. Two, one. And let's switch sides. Now we're going to work on our boat pose. You might see that in some yoga practices. You can start by holding on under your knees, and this might be it. Just with your chest up nice and tall, engage your core and sit up as straight as you can. If you want to try a little extra, you can try lifting up one toe at a time. If you want to try both, and you can even try extending your arms. So any one of those options, we'll start in three, two, one, go. For our last exercise in this round, we're going to do downward dog. So you're setting yourself up with your fingers spread nice and wide, tuck your toes, lift your hips, and you're trying to make yourself into an upside down V. No tension in your neck, your chest is pushing towards your thighs. You can be on your toes, it's okay if your heels don't go down. Slight bend in your knees if you need, if you've got tight legs, and just press into all ten fingers. So you can either hold here. Find a little movement, or if you need a little extra, throughout the 45 seconds, you can bring your knee forward to tap your elbow, reset, and try on the other side. So a couple options for you. So let's start our count in three, two, one, downward dog.
Give your shoulders a little break and take a minute to grab some water and then we're going to repeat those exercises for two more rounds. And just a reminder that you can always take a break or modify any of the workouts to fit your body and where you're at right now. and switch sides.
Right, rock on. Week three is done. Thanks for sticking with it. Just one more week to go. See you next week. Namaste.